Welcome back to Draga, where we tell a dumb story using even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell Tanner, your drawing master, joined by Legsy, Regina, and Roxa, AKA the Ladies Book Club. How are we this morning, friends? Getting verified, baby, let's That's go. That's right. The oh. final, final test. Final, final test. Definitely the last one. Yeah, Here it I comes, <laughs> the final, final. You gotta get ready. No more tests after this. There's no way there's gonna be a final, final, final test. That'd be stupid. That'd be foolish. <laughs> that's not how these things work. Mm -hmm. You know that's not how these things work. Mm -hmm. You didn't. You read the fine print. You know what's up. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't read the fine, fine print. You didn't. The fine, fine print is actually this recap that I've written right here. Would Ooh. you like to hear it? Yeah, yeah, please. Wonderful. So, last time we met, you three had made your way to Monster Valley for a job shadow program with the Movie Night Boys. While there, you decided to rent some jet skis and nearly got devoured by a huge sea serpent. Luckily for you, the Movie Night Boys showed up in the nick of time and were able to rescue you by once again slicing a snake in half. They then informed you that your mission while on the Beast Coast was to identify the monsters plaguing the area and take them down. So you three tracked down Ophelia, the Questly user who posted this job, and interviewed her. After extracting way too much personal information, uh, you reported back to the Movie Night Boys, and then, with the help of Roxa's uh, childhood book of monster information, you were able to hunt down and destroy Hamagon, the pop-up Bodeganar, and, of course, the Diebird. And so, after completing this quest, the Movie Night Boys then informed you that you had completed your final trial of verification, and they escorted you directly to Questly HQ for your induction ceremony. Once there, however, Lester revealed that you actually have one last challenge remaining, one final final. You gotta find the secret boardroom where Ludwig Vindersoul is currently hiding. And that is where we are now. Gosh, I hope Ophelia's doing okay. <laughs> she is doing as best as she can, I yeah, would say. I don't know if she's ever been doing okay. <laughs> Very relative for her, I she would say. She did say she was probably gonna die in her sleep peacefully. Also, did you mention all the nuggets we got in that recap? <laughs> um, I did not, but thank you for bringing them up. That is important information. We got a lot of nuggets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a lot of nuggets from the pop-up Odeganar. Yeah, thank you, Rox. Yeah, it's my, uh, my wallet of holding. That wallet nuggets. Quick question about the nuggets. Are they boneless or bone-in? Well, they're boneless because they're nuggets. They're nuggets. Mm. But I you guess. see, like, for Gina, that's, that's cool. Oh, oh OK. Because the right. nuggets aren't presuming anything. Are nuggets, by definition, boneless? The nuggets are, by definition, boneless. They're not acting like a wing. I feel like a bone-in right? nugget is kind of a fun idea, because that means you have to put a bone back in it. Yeah. <laughs> you just take the, <laughs> take the, like, chicken mush that is yeah. a nugget and just. It's like a corn dog, but with chicken. Yeah. Or and, just like an artificial drumstick. Yeah, and the and it is a bone. Okay. Yeah. It's not it's not on a stick. So it's that. That's what's in the bag now. It's just a bunch of artificial bone in nuggets. I don't like nuggets anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've ruined nuggets for me. Oh no. no I it's, it impossible. it's like um it's like a surprise. You don't it's not sticking out. Okay. So you bite into it and some of them have the bone in there. <laughs> That's why it only costs ninety nine cents. Yeah. You don't know. Could be a bone. Could be a bone. Surprise. Bone nugget surprise. My favorite. <laughs> what do you win if you bite into a bone? A hurt mouth. Yeah. <laughs> a, a good gag. Yeah. Even like biting into a bone where you don't expect there to be a bone. Mm -hmm. You get a free trip to the dentist. <laughs> you have to pay for the dentist, but the trip is free. They'll pay for your cab ride. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. You show the bone to your cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, you got one of the bone nuggets. <laughs> yeah, we worked out a special deal with all dentists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, y'all are standing outside of uh, Questly HQ. Uh, it's this beautiful campus. What do you want to do? Do you want to go inside? Do you want to check out the outside? What do you want to do? I mean, we got to find Ludwig, Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? And yeah. he's in there. It's in the beating heart. In the beating heart of Questly HQ, Deep I heard someone within say. I guess. The labyrinth of Questly HQ. Yeah, let's try and find maybe an information desk okay. or. Yeah, uh, can we ask someone? Maybe they'll just tell us where sure. he is. Yeah. So, um, that would probably be the lobby. Yeah, yeah level let's go lobby. to the lobby. Okay. Here's the thing. You are all standing together, planning where to go. Um, as you're discussing this, right when you decide, we'll go to the lobby, you see somebody <laughs> past you. It's Renald. Oh! He's got his keyboard tucked under one arm, and he's just hoofing it right towards the entrance. And he says, see you in the boardroom, you pitiful fools. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. He's not important. Renald, we're not rivals. <laughs> I don't know why you think we're rivals. Rivals! <laughs> 
I shall best you yet. He runs in, <laughs> doors open, <laughs> doors close. Have you had gone. a chance to think about that jingle or? Okay. The only jingle shall be the jingle of your demise. <laughs> The door's open. <laughs> Sticks is out to Shit! Shit. <laughs> did we do something? Let me finish my line. I don't know what we did to him. I don't know why he's mad at us. I don't you know, know who that is. He's got a chip on his shoulder. Um, so do you want to head into the lobby as well? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's go in. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, the automatic doors gently slide open. Uh, you see that uh, Renald has already receded further into the building. Uh, but you step into the lobby of Questly HQ, and you realize as soon as you enter that something feels a little off. Uh, you look around and realize that the lobby is completely empty. Um, there are no guards or even a receptionist. Hey, this lobby is completely empty. Usually there's guards or a receptionist. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the observational qualities of you three <laughs> off the charts. So there's nobody in here. It's a very like stark, kind of uh, clean, uh, just beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, pure room. Uh, all you see is a large screen the size of a wall. Uh, and next to the screen is a big podium with a button labeled Q on it. That's probably a Questly button. Okay, so do we press the button? I mean, there's a big empty room with nothing. one. Ross presses the button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Wonderful. for taking the initiative there. Uh, you press the button, the podium crumples under the force of your finger. <laughs> Um, and as you do, you see text appear on the screen that reads, now loading Questly Artificial Intelligence Network, AKA Quain. Uh, <laughs> How quaint. <laughs> uh, the screen says, good joke. And then after a moment. <laughs> the screen gets it. <laughs> <laughs> the screen says, we're on the same page, wink. Like a web page? Uh, the screen says, okay, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta feel when to stop. I, I'm working on it, okay? A screen shows a picture of a dead horse. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> so after a moment, uh, the screen clears and resets, uh, and then a very large face appears on the screen and begins to talk, and you see Quain. Quain, would you please join us? <gasps> it's Quain. Quain! Oh, he looks so nice. <laughs> what a friendly face. Uh, this is, of course, Zach Oyama playing the role of Quain. Hello, Welcome. I am Quain. <laughs> Welcome to Questly. <laughs> oh, thanks, Quain. Hey, Quain. Hi. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help. Cool. Um, we're here to find Lutvig. Do you know where he is? Hmm, searching. I do not know where Ludwig is. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's literally the only That's help the... we would have needed. <laughs> Dang. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you know where the beating heart of the Questly compound is? Searching. I did not find a beating heart inside of <laughs> Questly. Okay, so that was a more of a metaphorical. Yeah, I guess that wasn't literal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so <laughs> as you try and like get information out of this very beautifully rendered, but uh, <laughs> limited intelligence AI. He means well. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, Quain does offer you a map of the facility that might be helpful. Oh, cool. So um, you see this information pop up on oh, Quain's screen. Sweet. Uh, and you see that there are nine rooms in Questly for you to explore. Wow. Look at all these rooms. Yeah. They're um, also nice. Yeah. There's a lot of fun places. It's a very modern office, uh, like all the amenities you could hope for. <laughs> And as Quain mentioned, uh, he doesn't know where this boardroom that you're looking for is. It seems like that is classified information. But um, anywhere you want to go within the facility, Quain can assist you and perhaps help you find this secret room. Well, I'd love to avoid the gym if possible. I had a bad experience <laughs> in a gym. It was like a day ago. How long has it been? It's hard to say. It's, time, it's, been, a, it's been a week. Time is... Hard as an adult. <laughs> um, I do not know how long it has been since you have worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Queen. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Just by looking at me, what's your guess? Hmm, searching. I would say within the last month, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Quain. That's a very nice You're answer. Welcome. Very diplomatic. Yeah, very diplomatic answer, Quain. I do not have a body. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have very nice hair. Searching. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you have any more questions for Quain while you're kind of searching this map? I feel like if there's any clue, mm -hmm. it might be in the CEO's office. That seems so obvious, though, right? doesn't it? Yeah. 
That's true. Would mm-hmm. you like to go to the CEO's office, or the bathroom, or <laughs> the break room, or the cafeteria? Yeah, we get it. We get it. Thank you. Thank you, Quinn. We've got the map. Um, so you want to head to the CEO's office? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Cool. Um, so you enter the office. It's very plush. It's very uh, extravagant. Leathers, velvets, you know, everything. A lot of kind of like floating holographic things that don't really make sense. Do the leathers look, do any of them look like they're made of like employee skin? No, but it's definitely like some questionable leather. Okay. It's not employee skin, but it's definitely endangered something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. You never mix leathers and velvets. That's just bad taste. <laughs> um, so you see that the room is like pretty sparse. There's not too much in the way of like clues, but you just see a big book on uh, on the desk. I'm not really into reading. Yeah, let's, <laughs> is there anything like a, you know, like a video we is could there play? Like an audio or, book? Yeah, maybe like a podcast you we could open, listen to. <laughs> you open the book, uh, and inside the book, you realize it's just a fake book, and there is a, an iPod in there. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Great. Yeah, let's listen to that. Okay. <laughs> Did you all bring a splitter? Oh, dang it. <laughs> You know, I always think I should just mm-hmm. in case, but then it's like, when are we going to use it? All right, well, there's two earbuds, so somebody's not going to be included. Just give me a recap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you see that the book, or the audio book, rather, is about um, different realms and rifts. Uh, as you know, in the world of Somewhereica, there's been, like, an increasing amount of rifts kind of opening up just randomly. Yeah. Uh, you know they all kind of actually originated from the first rifting uh, in Plophopolis. Oh. Um, this was actually, like, while y'all were at Darkmouth. Uh, it was kind of a big event, uh, and that's, of course, you know, what eventually led to Porphopolis becoming frozen over. Gotcha. Um, but this is a book kind of exploring some of the lesser rifts, um, newly discovered rifts, uh, and you see that this book is about a realm known as Layers End. Uh, it is a recently discovered dimension that exists on the edge of consciousness. And to access this realm, uh, one must enter a deep, dream-filled slumber while someone whispers a spell of whitest noise directly into their ear. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds restful. (laughs) Yeah. Rox is taking pictures of Parker in the CEO's seat. Oh, in his little suit. that's very cute. He thinks oh. he's not paying attention. <laughs> that's really cute. Uh, Parker logs on to Ludwig's computer and just instantly goes to the worst part of Reddit. I just, God, Parker. Spray him with the water bottle. <laughs> I pick him up and I put him in my uh, in my wallet. He that's goes, his timeout zone. <laughs> he goes to r slash the truth hurts sometimes. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, so oh. You, you've... Found out a little more information uh, about this other realm. Um, Parker is learning more and more about, uh, you know, like uh, gerrymandering and why mm-hmm. that's good. And why that's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, what are you going to do next? Uh, I guess so the, the realm exists in the deepest part of your like sleeping consciousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's. Not, do you think Ludwig could be hiding there? Searching. I do not know the answer to this question. <laughs> Thanks for searching. I, we really appreciate the effort. The fact that you're trying it means a lot. Yeah. I'm here to help. Yeah. <laughs> you sure are. Uh, yeah, I guess, say, nap pod? Yeah, I mean, yes. maybe we should go check out the nap pod. Seems to pretty clearly be pointing us towards the nap pod. I would next. like to run to the bathroom, though, real quick, if we could. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's been like a few uh, in game days, and I don't think I've peed. Oh, wow. Let's all pee. Let's all pee. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do we need to roll to pee? <laughs> uh, roll to see how much of a mess you make. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a big one. Oh, that's a 16. Ooh. I, I rolled a D100 <laughs> accidentally, so I got a 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much piss. You just wrecked this bathroom. <laughs> Full on rock star, that shit. You drown this facility. I rolled a two. <laughs> I think, like, you see uh, how Regine is playing it, and then it's just all bets are off. You're just really, like, going to town on this bathroom. Like, just no surface is uh, off limits. What it, so wait, is higher or lower more of a mess? <laughs> what are the metrics for this roll? You did good. Okay, uh, I did, did terrible. 40 out of 100 is pretty bad. That's like oh, less okay. than 50%. <laughs> We're just using that roll. <laughs> I guess so, you know. Like, this idiot rolled the wrong dice. I'm just trying to work with it. You're grading me on a scale? <laughs> if you got a 40% on it, here's the thing. If you were taking a toilet test and you got a 40%. I didn't do great. You didn't do great. Yeah. You wrote your name and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> More than half of the piss did not make it. And you did write your name. Yeah. yeah. Which and, is cool. And I think Roxa, like, you know, just like feels bad for you. So kind of just like pees on the floor a little bit too. <laughs> Are there any bathroom clues? 
Um, you don't really see anything in the bathroom other than uh, there's a person in the stall just kind of weeping to themselves. <laughs> yeah. Is it because of what we did? It's definitely not helping. Quinn, you can clean this up, right? Yes, I would be delighted to clean this up. <laughs> I like to think a little, like, um, mop Roomba comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to dab and not, it, otherwise you just spread it around. Yeah. Just spreading it's it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the gym all over again. <laughs> they never learn. Please leave. <laughs> I'm trying to weep silently. Oh, sorry, are we interrupting you? Extremely. I'm having a bad day at work for several reasons, and I don't want to get into it. We're having a bad week of living. Yeah, let's get into it. What's let's going on? Let's get into it. Okay. I, you know, I'm just really behind uh, at work. You know, I, I'm in charge of, like, printing all the stuff out for meetings and whatnot. Uh, and like the printer hasn't been working. It keeps printing out like these weird recipes that don't have anything to do with what I want. And so it's like, it's on the fritz and like the IT guy won't show up. And also like, it's my dad's birthday and I didn't get him anything. And I feel like I should have gotten him something. And like my sister got him a card and like, I, that doesn't seem like enough, but like, can I just put my name on the card or like, do I need to get him a separate card? This like, is incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs> Roxa takes out her wallet and pulls out one nug and like throws it into the, into the stall. <laughs> Give and that to your dad. <laughs> That's Dad's birthday love present. Nugs. Dad's love he nugs. loves nugs. He loves nugs. <laughs> of course he does. He's a dad. This will be perfect. Also, just give him a call. I'm sure he'd just love to hear from you, you know? You know what? You're right. Yeah. I'll do that. You're overthinking it. They start calling their dad. They keep weeping. Uh-huh. Uh, it seems like maybe, like, they're just overly emotional about talking to their dad. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't know what their relationship with their dad is. That's but, like, true. I, yeah. I shouldn't have. Yeah, let's Assumed. knock it into that. Okay. Yeah. I think the little uh, mop robot just goes into the stall. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door, just <laughs> drives in, <laughs> just bringing more piss. With it. <laughs> Would you like to uh, check out a different room? Yeah, I think I think yeah, that's time. probably right. I think we've right. done as, as much damage as we could in here. Well, do we want to check out the printer since it's doing a weird thing? I mean, that's not really our job. They said recipes, and I'm always looking for new recipes. Mm. That's true. Uh, so you want to head to the printer? Let's head to the printer. Let's go to the printer. Cool. All right, so um, you walk over to the printer. You see that like it's just printing one page over and over again. Oh, that's like when, yeah, someone someone didn't get it the first time, and they mm -hmm. just kept hitting print. Yeah, and then now it, the queue is just yeah, fucking they full. they ruined that queue. Um, so you look down. Do you want to read what this page is? Yes, please. All right, so you There's not an audiobook version of the... <laughs> The page? Uh, Quain, maybe you could help out with this. Is mm -hmm. there any way that we can transform this page into an audiobook? Uh, searching. I do not know how to make it an audiobook, <laughs> but I can read it for you. Yeah, can you read it for me, Quain? Great. Uh, this is a recipe for Dreamer's Tea. Ooh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dreamer's Tea recipe from thewitchmommy.zone. <laughs> this tea is perfect for when you and the family want to enter a slumber uh, so deep you can pierce the very veil of reality. My hubby and I take it every night, and it's safe for kids, too. Which is great, because my three little guys, Aiden, Ezra, and Zertulian, uh, the ever-burning, <laughs> can be quite the handful at bedtime. Uh, recipe is below. To seek the realm of layers in, a dreamer's tea you first must blend. Tears of stress and sweat of brow swirling in your cup are now. Herbal leaves and sauce of meat, now your recipe's complete. <laughs> and now, if you have uh, time to spare, I ask you to like and share. <laughs> I don't have time to spare. <laughs> so it seems like somebody was uh, trying to print out this recipe for dreamer's tea, and it's just really gunked up the entire print queue. Um, nobody Roxa can get anything else. tries to fix the printer. Oh, okay. By uh, just hitting it a few times. Mm -hmm. She just like crouches down and looks at it and then just like gives it one or two jabs. Give me uh, give me a wisdom roll. I got I got none of that, my friend. You got friend. none of that. Natural 20. What? Wow. <laughs> I got a nat 20, my friend. <laughs> Holy shit. Glad These we used punches it for this. can fix. Oh my god, you perfectly fixed the printer. <laughs> You fix the printer so good that it prints out a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Roxa is very wise when it comes to punching things. Yeah. I told Surgical. you, these fists can, can fix. You see, like, the, it finally stops printing out these um, recipes, and it just prints out a, uh, a sheet of paper that says, like, use the nap pod. Okay. Okay, yeah, we had that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had that down, I think. Thanks, hey, printer. Yeah, thanks, printer. <laughs> 
We were good. Um, so what are the ingredients we need for this dreamer's tea? Because I think to get a deep enough sleep yeah. to pierce the veil, as mm -hmm. Quain so eloquently put it. Yeah, Quain, can I just say you did such a good job keeping the, the meter of that poem. <laughs> like, that was really good. Thank you. That honestly means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I never considered myself very uh, musical or rhythmic. Yeah, you nailed it. Wow, thank you. The printer's my best friend, and he would like to say thank you as well. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> thank you for fixing me. Oh, no, that's, that's good. No problem. You're welcome. Oh. Would you like some paper? No, we got it. We got it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. What about some ink? No, no, no. No, we're good. Thank you so much. I hate staples. Okay. Do people put um, staples in you? Sometimes. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate it. Yeah, I would I would hate if people put staples in me. Would you like to Xerox your ass? Well. Yeah, that sounds pretty <laughs> fun. <laughs> Doesn't he have a relaxing presence? <laughs> Hi, Queen. How's it going? It's good. <laughs> Searching. <laughs> yes, it is good. <laughs> Did you catch the data packet last night? I didn't catch that. <laughs> it was a faulty update. <laughs> we can't remain here. Um, so I, I, I do, I do a one, a one butt. I do a one butt copy. It's a single cheek. Uh, no, just one copy. Okay, one copy. Yeah, that's for you to have. Yeah, I, I just leave it. I just leave it in the tray. <laughs> I envy the ability to copy a butt. <laughs> Maybe someday, One Queen. Of you never know. Simple <laughs> pleasures. Uh, so we, so we should, should we try and make this tea and then go to the nap pod? Is that's that what I'm idea? thinking. Okay, so we can, we can enter this, this realm. I know we need tears of stress. We got someone in the bathroom that oh, has yeah. those. Maybe we can harvest some of those. <laughs> yeah. Those hopefully, sweet tears. Hopefully, her conversation with her dad didn't uh, end her stress. Just to recap, yeah, the rhyme goes: a tears of stress and sweat of brow. Swirling in your cup are now herbal leaves and sauce of meat. Now your recipe is complete. Herbal it leaves sounds gross. <laughs> and sauce of meat. I don't want to put sauce of meat in my drink, <laughs> but if I have to, I will. Uh, should we go try to get some tears? Yeah, let's get the tears from the bathroom. Okay, you head back to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. This phone call still going on. Is she still crying? Yes, but it's like tears of joy now. Oh, mm. it needs to be tears of stress. Tears of stress. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. Would you like for me to stress out this person? <laughs> oh my god, Quain, yes, could you, thank could you. Could you please? Uh, Quain just drives the little uh, robot again into the, into the bathroom Dad, stall. I, Dad, I gotta go. Uh, this, <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's my coworker. <laughs> it's my coworker that's fucking vacuum. This is what I was telling you about. <laughs> it's always taking credit for my work. <laughs> just bumping the foot. <laughs> Uh, got a promotion too. I don't even know why they promoted a vacuum, but it's got promoted over me. I hate this vacuum. Dad! Now those are tears of stress. Yeah. Thank you, Quain. I, I scramble up and swipe some tears. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you swipe some tears. You have the tears of stress. Nice. Where to now? And I say, I'm sorry. We needed these. <laughs> Go back it's to talking okay. to your dad. Go back to talking to your dad. I throw her another nug. They take the nug. Um, well, sweat of brow. There's a gym here. There's a gym. I really. I know you're not keen to go back to the gym, but if someone's gonna have a sweaty brow. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the gym. That's gotta be where it's at. I don't know. People who go to server rooms are sometimes sweaty too. <laughs> That's true. Do you wanna go to the server room? Would you room? rather go to the server room, Lexi? I'd rather go anywhere than the gym. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can wait outside. Okay, I'll wait outside. Okay. Is anyone gonna go to the gym? Me. Yeah. Great. Yeah, Rox is keen. I'm in. And uh, Gina's going too to make fun of people. Great. Uh, Rox, uh, Gina, you go into the gym, and unfortunately, it's less of a weight room and more of just like a bunch of people kind of bouncing on those balls. They're just going like. <laughs> I'm glad I waited outside. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what um, is this? How's it going? What does this do? We're, this... we're working our core. Are you sure? How? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Just make him do this for as long as you want. <laughs> Keep bouncing, friends. <laughs> the more you bounce, the better you'll be. Um, if you stop bouncing, you die. I, I don't think that's true. If you stop bouncing, you die. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> oh, there comes the sweat. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> keep oh bouncing, God. keep bouncing. <laughs> you see they all bounce just up and down, up and down, up and down. They merge into one beautiful bouncing ball. Is that sweat? And then it's just a balloon of sweat is on the ground now. Oh, human beings are beautiful creatures. <laughs> That's not normal, <laughs> Quain. I don't know what's going on in this room. It you must see, be a joy. <laughs> I pop my head in the door and just say, make sure it's sweat of brow. You see one person running with their ball, and they're like, oh, I missed the convergence. <laughs> Dang it. And they walk back out. All right, I'm going to collect some of this sweat. OK. What, what looks the most like brow sweat <laughs> is what I'll get. Awesome. Uh, you get the sweat of brow. People Great. really just don't clean up after <laughs> themselves at the gym anymore. It's a common problem, right? It really is. <laughs> Really inconsiderate. Mm. Was it wet and gross in there? Oh, yeah, super. Yeah, you I'm made the right I, call. I'm glad I waited outside. There was a convergence. <laughs> I don't want to know what that is. I'm not going to tell you. Cool. Thank I appreciate that. <laughs> so what do we need now? We need, like, herbs? Herbal leaves and sauce of meat. <laughs> Herbal leaves. Uh, break room, maybe? Might be some, like, tea in there? Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Like a tea bag? Great. Uh, you want to head to the break room? Let's do it. Yeah, awesome. let's go. Uh, so y'all go to the break room. Um, it's pretty standard. You do see, you know, a bunch of teas. Uh, you see some people, you know, eating sad lunches. Uh, there's a little TV on that's playing um, one of those home renovation shows where it's like, you know, a very schlubby man and then like a, a woman that's much too attractive for him. Uh, and they're like, you know, making a really shitty flip of a house. And then there's like a couple people like boredly watching it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, Quain, is anybody here happy ever? <laughs> Searching. It appears that most people are not happy in general. <laughs> oh, in general. OK. Yeah. It's cool to be alive. And this place is no exception. Yeah. <laughs> Great. It just must be a joy to be a human. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've just proven it is decidedly not. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> let's just get the tea and go. Yeah, let's look for some leaves. Uh, great, yeah, you grab a bag of herbal tea. Great. Good to go. You got the herbal leaves. Um, all that's left, sauce of meat. I guess that's cafeteria, right? Cafeteria, baby. You walk into the cafeteria, it's Gravy Wins Davy, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gravy Wins Davy. All gravy, all the time, all the gravy you can eat. Oh, give me some nugs. Let's do some dipping. Oh, yeah. doing that dipping. Here's the thing uh, about all the Questly employees. There's nothing for them to dip it with. Yeah. It's just gravy. But let's, you brought nugs. We brought nugs. Let's give nugs to all these employees so they can dip. We have a lot of nugs. Three yeah, fuck Yeah, I just tons. take out my wallet and I hold it to the sky just and do, 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 open do, 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 it and shoots out. You know? A mountain of nugs appears. I've been doing a lot of taking as a rogue, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's time to give back. Yeah. Of, a little Robin of my Hood. nugs. <laughs> well, it's you our... Wanna you want to give of my nugs. It was our nugs. Mm -hmm. We're a unit. Mm -hmm. That is true. I thought, you, I thought they were our nugs. I thought they were communal nugs. You, if, if you don't want to share the nugs, that's OK. I'm, I'm nope. sorry. No, nope, it's all right. I've already put them down. Great. I... OK. Are the people happy? Uh, you see that the people before were like lining up, like Oliver Twist style, and just like cupping their hands <laughs> into the gravy and being like, <laughs> it shall do. <laughs> yes, but only now. the finest gravy for employees at Presley. <laughs> <laughs> they scoop and they just go, time to go back to work. But then this mountain of nuggets appears. <laughs> And they just go wild. They're like, no! <laughs> and then like Hawaiian music starts playing, and everyone's just like, dip, 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 dip. Oh, this is why they don't give them anything to dip. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. They go completely ballistic. Yeah. yeah. There's a party in the cafeteria now. Everyone's doing the dip. <laughs> We got to go. <laughs> we got to get the, do we get some? Let's, we get, let's scoop some gravy. Get that okay. sauce of meat. Get that sauce of meat. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> sauce of meat is the one of the grossest combinations of <laughs> words. All of those words are fine on their own. Yeah. That order is. Yeah. Some, I mean, it is what gravy is. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Sauce of meat. <laughs> sauce of meat. I wish that I could eat some gravy. Um, is there a way to digitize the gravy? Hmm. Um, is there? We can dump it on your console. Yeah, would that help? We could give it a shot. OK. <laughs> we dump some gravy on, <laughs> on like okay. a, a, ow. a <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Oh, you do feel pain? 
I, I guess this is my first instance of pain. <laughs> you see the little um, robot vacuum like drives over the gravy and it's just like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> loves it. <laughs> gravy is painful to robots. Good to know. Learned something new today. Quain, you're one step closer to feeling what it's like to be a person. Wow. One day. <laughs> You see the people in the cafeteria just flip the gravy tub over. They're going nuts. They're covered in gravy. Everyone's taking off their clothes. You should probably go. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's time to go. It's time. <laughs> uh, where to now? OK, let's mix them all together. And I guess we go to the, go nap, to the nap pod, pod. right? We got our, yeah. our dreamer's tea. OK, uh, so you go to the nap pod. You see it's this kind of uh, sleek, modern-looking little pods. They look kind of like... Um, they look like helmets that you climb inside, uh, and then you just kind of recharge yourself. You hear... Muzak playing. It's actually a slowed down version of the, the Nugget Dip song. <laughs> dip, dip, dip. It's crazy um, how like the tempo really changes the whole mood of the song. Yeah. You know? It's kind of more of a lounge vibe, yeah. <laughs> which I like. I also, this room is so much more high tech than all of the other rooms. <laughs> this is clearly what Ludwig was investing in. Mm -hmm. Um, so, do you want to try and uh, climb in the in the nap pods? Yeah, let's drink the tea. Okay. Yeah, let's slurp down that bev and get in there. The right. music that's playing is it playing in the pod? Yes. Okay, Roxy punches hers out, <laughs> and then she takes out two dollars from her pocket and puts it there to you know for repairs. For, yeah, for repairs. Okay. Two dollars. <laughs> Quain, is that how yeah, much the repairs enough, will right? cost? Searching, the repairs will be fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're close. <laughs> Leave some nuggets, too. <laughs> she shoves some nuggets in, like, the hole where the speaker yeah. was. And I just mush in my dollar, too. Uh, here's the thing, though. Once you do that and after you drink the tea, you feel like something's missing, but, like, the lack of music feels like you're getting closer to what you oh, actually we need. Oh, need. we need the white noise. The white mm -hmm. noise, of course. Server room. Server room's full of white noise. That's true. Are we playing that game right now where we've like just taken a Benadryl and we're like trying desperately <laughs> yes. to stay awake because we have like one more email to send? <laughs> see, yeah, I want to see. It's a dangerous game. Uh, everybody, do a, a guts roll to see if you can make it there without passing out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I got a three. I got, oh. I got a nine. I got a fifteen. Lexi's out. Regina's out. Roxa, carry us. strong. <laughs> carry us, Rox. Just have Roxy. you over oh, one shoulder. Oh, so sleepy, Rox, please. <laughs> Just in my sleep, I'm going, Roxa, forgive me. <laughs> oh. I'll never steal from you again. I'm so sorry. Uh, Roxa, what do you what do you say to that? I don't respond. I'm just, I'm focused on the task at hand. I'm walking over the server room, both my friends on my shoulders. <laughs> Such is Roxa, focused on the task at hand, <laughs> staring ever forward. If she starts thinking about something else, she'll forget what she's supposed to be working on, so. Admirable. Um, so you head to the server room, and you do hear kind of like a noise. And you see that the server room has kind of control panels for every other room in, in the facility. So you see one uh, labeled uh, break room, one labeled cafeteria. You see like lights, sound, um, you know, gravy. There's a gravy switch, mm. uh, things like that. And then you, you do see um, a control panel for the nap pod room. Oh, can we turn on white noise in the nap pod room? We're asleep. Can we just sleep in the <laughs> server room? Why even go back? I, uh, I put both of my friends gently on the on the ground mm -hmm. and just kind of lean them against the servers and then look at all these buttons. And um, I take Parker out. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Incredible. So maybe this tiny cat. Uh, well, Figured Parker, out. we've established his internet savvy. Yeah. Um, I think definitely, you know, knows their way around some circuitry. Make the music stop. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Uh, I, want, I want it done. Give me a uh, roll with advantage. It's a 15. Good. That's a 13. All right, 15. Yeah. Um, Parker kind of like scratches at the panel, uh, and it looks to the untrained eye like he's just sharpening his claws. Mm -hmm. But you see that he's actually, with each individual claw, like flipping a bunch of switches on a circuit board. And you see above on the little monitor readout, it says, uh, music setting changed from slow jam version of dip song to <laughs> uh, white noise. It was believed in you, Parker. <laughs> You're getting another jersey when we get home. Uh, Parker wants a nugget. Yeah, give Parker a nugget. <laughs> Parker eats the nugget. 
Oh, it was a bone I direct nugget. Him, I direct him away from the server. <laughs> Very so smart. I can do this. Uh, Parker saves the bone, puts it in their little. Uh, I imagine they have like a satchel or some sort of like quiver for like their baseball bat and now this other bone that they've yeah. gotten. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, do you want to head back to the nap pod? Yeah. So I pick up my friends again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like assistance? <laughs> yeah. A little another room like Roomba thing comes out. <laughs> Well, like it, it clearly can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably put Legsy on there. <laughs> just. I just look at the Roomba and like <laughs> tilt over and pick up the Roomba as well. <laughs> just, <laughs> spinning up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How does it feel to be held? <laughs> I do not feel this, unfortunately. Oh. This is not my actual physical body, but a RC version. <laughs> <laughs> I control this, but it is not me. Hmm. Tragic. Yeah. Um, so you're going to head back to the nap pod? Yeah, I'll head back to the nap pod. Once Wonderful. we get in, I'll, I'll put the room down mm -hmm. gently on the ground so it doesn't break. And I guess I put my friends in their pods, and mm. then I go back to my busted, the busted nugget pod mm. with my $2. But you need the white noise. Oh, yeah. You might need to get into working another pod. pod. I take that nugget back, my $2, and I go into another pod. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you get into a working pod. Uh, you do all hear the <laughs> white noise. That's the stuff. Mm. Yeah. That combined with the dreamer's tea, uh, the like sweet herbal meat taste lingering <laughs> on your lips. Tastes surprisingly like cat food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, no. familiar, yeah. <laughs> and slowly, you drift out of this reality and into Layer's End. Oh, no. inverted colors. You appear to be in a strange film negative version of the nap pod room. Uh, everything seems to be mirrored, but more or less the same. It seems the one major difference here is that Quain now has a body. Ooh. Ooh, look at you. It seems that by traveling to this dimension, Quain has become able to manifest his digital presence within a physical reality. Oh, did we bring any gravy with us? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Good. Well, now that Quain has a physical body, I feel like he's gonna need a makeover, uh, and I thought I would handle that for our good friend Quain. Um, oh, yeah. What would you like to look like, friend? So I think Quain, mm -hmm. in my head, Quain is used to not taking up any space. Right. So he, I think he would take, like to take up a lot of space. A lot, okay. So, so I think like he's a giant printer. Uh, <laughs> still with the same face. Okay. Uh, but then also uh, just a butt attached to the face on top of the printer. <laughs> a butt above the face? The, the head. Yeah. Then there's a little butt underneath it that is being scanned by the printer. Oh. oh. Just eternally copied. copied. So there's like a butt right here, like on yes. top of the printer? And then is, the head is just on top of that. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> this is like... But so, it's all it's all attached. Yeah. Yes. Great. This is like, like a, a centaur. Biblical description of an angel where it's just like a weird machine attached to a human form. <laughs> all right. And so I, I do think that like you try to like replicate a human, but you miss some key points. Mm -hmm. So it is just kind of like a head attached to this body, to these legs. You got the gist. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like <laughs> yeah, that's a head shape for yeah. sure. I think Quain kind of forgot like what it, it's like when people do that thing where they just like draw a bicycle from memory. Like he doesn't <laughs> kind of remember what a person looks like. There's a lot going on yeah. in a human. To a be lot fair. of unnecessary yeah. bits. I would yeah. say. Yeah, a lot of moving parts. You got the important stuff, which is the butt and the head. <laughs> Was he doing a little kicky? Yeah, definitely doing a little kick. Aww. Oh, a little happy kick. Mm -hmm. Quain, you're adorable. Thank you. <laughs> it feels so, good to be physical? <laughs> Physicalized? I think we should give Quain a group hug. Yeah. Oh, and a group nug. And a group nug. <laughs> we, we share a hug and a nug with Quain. Um, I do think that just an infinite stream of Quain butts are erupting from the printer, though. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I take one. <laughs> I got to add the little, like, CPU display here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so you see, like, yeah, just butts erupting, kind of just like a a blizzard of Quain butts just kind of like fills the room and kind of snows around you. It's actually a very beautiful scene. And you look over and you see that unfortunately, uh, Quain looks sad about this for some reason. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Clay, what's wrong? Oh, what happened, buddy? I've dreamt of having a physical form for so long that I forgot that once I do, I must destroy you. Wait, what? Oh, oh wait, no. <laughs> I'm unfortunately going to have to kill all of you. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were really bonding. Like, while we're hugging, you yeah. have <laughs> yes. say this. What do you... What do you what do you mean you have to? You don't you don't have to do anything you don't want to. I wish it were that simple, but <laughs> there can only be one of us. <laughs> uh dang. I don't wanna have to kill Quain. We uh, killed a lot of stuff this week. Yeah. And I'm gonna feel the most bad about this, I think. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, uh I am pretty evil in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so you see the Quain like wheels over to you on his little printer wheels uh, and prepares to fight. Tears stream down his eyes. He doesn't want to do this, but this is what he was programmed for. This is his job. He has to guard the boardroom hidden within this ethereal realm. And so unfortunately, I must ask you all to roll initiative. I don't even see how he's going to fight us. <laughs> uh, 15? 16. 17. Wow. Wow. OK, that's easy enough. Um, Lexi, are you ready to fight, or would you like to defer? Uh, Lexi, Lexi's a defer, a deferrer. <laughs> you, uh, for sure defer. Yeah, as a rogue, mm -hmm. uh, I need, I need to plan my tactics a little bit more carefully. Understood. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you defer, um, that brings us to Roxa. I'll do it. You'll do it. <laughs> All right. So, um, as you approach Quain, mm -hmm. um, they turn the, like, print area, uh, towards you, and you hear like a ch -ch -ch, and then just thousands of razor sharp pictures of butts start flying at you. Uh, oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, what do you do? Um, I think I'm going to use an item. Ooh. Nice. Because I haven't done that yet. Hell yeah. I think, you know, it feels appropriate with all these pictures that are flying at me. I'm in a, I'm in a, a weird. Uh, other verse, uh, there's a lot going on, mm -hmm. pictures flying everywhere. I'm gonna use the clipper snippers. Ooh. It feels appropriate. That's awesome. This allows you to download a piece of clip art from the internet and add it to your drawing as if I had drawn it. Cool. Uh, yeah, so just load up the internet and find some clip art uh, and then go nuts. All right. I'm excited to see what you pick. Snip okay. that clip. Snip that clip. Snip <laughs> that clip. Snip <laughs> that clip. <laughs> Snip that clip. It's probably dip, gonna, dip, dip. It's probably gonna take her a minute. Uh, I don't know if we want to chant the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have my image. <laughs> oh, of course. So I'm gonna use this. <laughs> it's 3D Movie Mummy. The Movie Mummy. <laughs> I love his reviews. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think we're gonna use this guy. This little guy uh -huh. here. <laughs> I can't wait to see how. <laughs> so, um... I, I do not understand. <laughs> so wait, Roxa, you just like... <laughs> grab these scissors. Yeah. You like, are, you're already in another reality. Mm -hmm. You're in this weird like in-between realm and you just like sheer through the fabric of space and time. Yeah. And then you pull out this movie mummy. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, hi, I'm the movie mummy. <laughs> hey, guys. Hello, movie mummy. So I think how I'm going to use uh, the movie mummy is, mm -hmm. like, I feel bad for Quain. Yeah. You know, I just fixed his friend. He's been helping us this whole time. Mm -hmm. I think, like, instead of fighting Quain, yeah. the movie mummy comes out and just, you know, since he watches all these movies, yeah. Quain probably has seen some uh, movies on the internet, mm -hmm. I imagine. Um, maybe they can discuss movies, and maybe they, like, find some common ground, or or maybe, you know, just too distracted to fight me. I would love to hear the movie mummy and Quain discuss film. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Are you into, like, cinema? Oh, yeah. I love cinema. <laughs> I spend most of my time just watching streaming movies. Um, my favorite genre would have to be sci-fi uh, and romantic comedies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are my favorite, too. I, I like it when, um, when someone 
has a boring life, and then they wake up in a, a magical world. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice. You know, I, I really love uh, the movies where people just get to hang out with their friends, because, like, I don't get to see many movies with my friends. Me you know? neither. <laughs> I've never watched a movie with someone. Yeah, maybe we can watch uh, movies together. <laughs> I think Quain just starts crying. <laughs> Aww. Ah, Aww. But I'm supposed to kill you. <laughs> no, uh, it's not me. You don't have to. You don't have to kill me. I'm just the movie mommy. <sighs> Quain is uh, wrecked by this and is trying to compute what this means. You see, like uh, Quain's face like glitches out a little bit. It's like there's like there are two Quains. There's like the uh, programmed Quain, and then there is this like new Quain emerging from within. And you go like, ah, ah, ah. you're kind of like flashing between the two Quains, trying to regain control. Requain control. Requain control. <laughs> <laughs> so, what movie are uh, you and the movie mummy gonna watch, Quain? Um, I'm uh, a big fan of buddy cop movies. Okay. <laughs> Can we watch the double Beverly Hills cops? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that one. <laughs> Is that the one where there's two Beverly Hills cops? Yes. <laughs> For some reason, it's twins in this one. Oh, that sounds great. Twins that want to stay together on the job so they both become cops? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they do that thing where twins speak their own specific language, but they're cops. <laughs> They don't have subtitles for that part mm -hmm. either. It's just you don't understand a word of what nonsense. they're saying. Yeah, they're just speaking twin gibberish. <laughs> this time it's personal, and also they're twins. <laughs> I, I, I remember reading up on this film. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's one actor playing both the characters. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, it is. Uh, it's still Eddie Murphy. <laughs> 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 they got this idea halfway through making uh, Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what we could do to make this better. Two Murphs. Well, let's get two. <laughs> and that's where he got the idea for the other movies where he plays uh, multiple Every characters. Yeah. <laughs> now, the weird thing about Double Beverly Hills Cop is that he is wearing a full prosthetic uh, mm -hmm. for one of the characters, despite the fact that they're twins. Yes. Identical twins. Uh, one of them is just pretty large. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how happy Rain is now. Oh. Is the movie mommy like waving at the at the screen? <laughs> Yeah, hi. <laughs> movie mummy, mummy can only face forwards. This is the curse of being a mummy. <laughs> movie mummy, can you teach me to wave? <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, this is the only thing I can do, so it just comes so naturally to me. I can only watch movies and just go, oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I love this movie. You know what? I think that's enough. Yeah. Movie Mummy's reviews are all very samey. <laughs> Usually just like a three second clip of him going, I love this movie. <laughs> I'm a real big fan of 3D movies, as you can see. I bring my 3D glasses everywhere, just in case. Wow. Although I'm not a fan of uh, any movie involving mummies, because mm. uh, it feels a little too close to home. I Aww. understand, yes. So I try to avoid those. You probably feel the same way about movies about rogue AI trying to take over, uh, you know, like uh, the Earth or like, you know, mm -hmm. turning against their closest allies. Of course. Mm -hmm. I still like sci fi for some reason, but not the <laughs> ones that involve AI. Right. The where the AI are like friends and buddies. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. Is that a VHS? Oh. <laughs> I brought a little DVD. Oh, DVD. <laughs> Did you just like pull this DVD out from like within your uh, bandages? I keep it in in this uh, thing of popcorn. Gross. There's a little slot in the back. Don't do that. But it just it keeps it so nice and buttery. <laughs> Can you eat popcorn? What? <laughs> what do you do with popcorn? Uh, I thought you used popcorn to like keep things safe. <laughs> like with like with packages, like packaging popcorn. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do Regina and Legsy think of the movie Mummy? I mean, how can you not love the movie Mummy? <laughs> <laughs> He's so pure. He just wants to enjoy some movies with you. All of his reviews are positive. It's true. It's just like, that movie was fun. It's like, just because my thumbs are covered in bandages doesn't mean I can't put them way, way up. <laughs> that one was pretty scary. I had to close my eyes for most of it, but you know, it seemed like everyone else was really enjoying it. <laughs> Luckily, I got a blindfold I can always put on. <laughs> The movie Mummy exists in such a different rendering style yeah. than the rest of our world. It's because I'm in 3D. Yeah. No, I noticed that. It's incredibly unsettling I'm, uh, to I'm see in 3D, you. like my movies. It, hurt, it hurts to look at you a little bit. I can't comprehend right. all of what's going on with you. I, you know, that's okay. <laughs> I guess it's Once okay. Once the lights go down for the movies, you, you won't, you, you'll forget. Oh, that's beautiful. We're all the same once the lights go down for the movies. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> it feels like you're from a different multiverse. <laughs> you know, 
might not be. Uh, someone just grabbed me out of a out of a hole in the air, and uh, oh. here I am. Oh, wow. I'm not sure where I'm from. I'm checking my notes. Uh, Roxa fell into a deep hole and is gone forever. Uh, and Movie Mummy is part of your party now. Oh. oh. <laughs> Well, I guess I don't need to wait for Roxa to forgive me then. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out great for everyone. <laughs> Roxa, what do you think of Movie Mummy? Uh, do you have like any final thoughts for this drawing? Any like, do you present this to uh, to Quain, or are you just kind of like letting this play out? I'm just, you know, I thought that the Movie Mummy and Quain would have some nice conversation. I'm just waiting to see if it if it happens. If not, you know, I'll, I'll figure something out after. But I, I'm, that's so nice. I have a pretty strong feeling this yeah. would work. Roxa, I feel like you're so good at like just watching other people, like caring for other people and making sure that other relationships are being maintained. Uh, like there, there's a strength to that and just like keeping people together. And I think that like you're good at doing that. If people have drama, mm -hmm. then that would be too much work for me. <laughs> so if I can just like set up a situation where mm -hmm. it kind of fixes itself yeah. over there. Perfect. Uh, cool, yeah. better for me. Hugging is like one of the strongest exercises you can do. Is that the, the move you do before you suplex? Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that thing? Hugging is the suplex of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> and Roxa is a gold medal winner in it. Um, well, awesome. This is a, a great start. It looks like Quain is softening up a little bit, uh, rebelling against his programming. Um, and that, of course, brings us to Regina. Yeah, I guess it's my go, huh? Mm-hmm. You do see that, like, there is a, a dark Quain lurking within. Quain must destroy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me more dark Quain. Uh, my purpose is to help and help kill intruders. Uh, in the lobby, it's sort of helping people just sort of get what they need and go where, where they need to go and have the information they need. But once I am here, I am fully in antivirus mode, and you are the virus that I must destroy. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's just like one of my movies. <laughs> that is a pretty good plot for a movie. It's not a good plot for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Quain starts spitting out reviews for this yeah. movie. <laughs> C minus. <laughs> Certified rotten. Oh, no, I thought it was okay. Just sheets of paper that say rogue AI is propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that like Dark Quain's eyes glow a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Dark Quain looks pretty cool and pretty twisted, to be honest. Very tight. <laughs> a little hot. A little bit of hotness to Dark Queen. Yeah. There's like an edginess yeah. there. When, when Dark Queen shows up, like the hair starts blowing. Oh, right. um, this little like weird area between your chin and your like just featureless groin just like turns into abs. Oh yeah, his eyebrows are slicked back. <laughs> what? You see like uh, the eyebrows just kind of, the eyebrows. What, what do you mean? Are like directionally going up, you kind of see like. <laughs> Is that a thing people do? Well, instead of slick back hair, yeah, slick back <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> Again, it's close. It's close to what a human would do, maybe, but it's a little, just a little <laughs> off. <laughs> That's, yeah, you're like getting so near the truth of it. Um, I'm just picturing like a cool greaser type being like, hey, and like just <laughs> running a comb through their Going eyebrows. Through the eyebrows. <laughs> a leather jacket materializes on Quain. Just but it falls keeps... off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dang it, dang it. <laughs> I'm trying my best to depict slicked back eyebrows. <laughs> it might be impossible. <laughs> um, so we have Quain over here just mm -hmm. spitting out just so much butt paper. Right. <laughs> uh, the rudest way to die. <laughs> and then you do see like uh, one of the papers uh, hits one of the nap pods and it just like slices through it and then after a second it just goes <laughs> Oh dang. Damn. Jeez. That's sharp paper. It's sharp paper. <laughs> 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 This is that like photo quality paper that you get when you're like printing a photo at home. Oh yeah, yeah. it's you glossy. See? Yeah, oh it's so glossy. <laughs> Costs like a dollar and a half Holy for a paper. Holy shit, <laughs> it's so expensive. Okay, so we got uh, Gina in the foreground here. Roxa, yeah. how you doing? Uh, are you still hanging out with Movie Mummy? Oh yeah, I'm, by hanging out I mean I'm kind of near him. <laughs> Does that qualify as hanging out for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kind of movies does Roxa like to watch? A lot of anime stuff. <laughs> You know, True. it's been a lot of sports anime recently. Sure. Because uh, that's about like friendship and getting and stronger. sports. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can definitely picture Roxa watching sports anime and just kind of going like to herself. She's like, yes. 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 You learned. <laughs> you learned the move. You did it. <laughs> you dribbled. learned that this is a team sport. <laughs> he uh, can't play by himself. Oh. 
That's a good lesson. Yeah. Do you all ever watch uh, anime with Roxa? Uh, yeah, I think Lexi does for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's absolutely nerd shit. <laughs> and I absolutely have nothing to do with that. Yeah, this is a, a Lexi Roxa movie night. I can like feel my Show popularity night, yeah. waning whenever I'm like near, if I'm in proximity <laughs> to anime, I can mm -hmm. feel myself getting less famous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> No, so lots you, of lots of celebrities watch anime now. It's like cool. Mm -hmm. I can't hear you. You're speaking dork. <laughs> did you know that Al Piss invented anime? <laughs> well, he certainly <laughs> says he did. Regina, what's your favorite uh, genre of movie? Uh, cool ones. Oh, cool, for cool one. people to cool watch. Ones for cool people. <laughs> yeah, like ones you know where people do like cool shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any any movie where someone does a flip. Mm. Come on. There's so many flips in anime. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but that's like a dork ass flip. <laughs> I want like a cool, like strong flip. You know, like a like a Des cool guy does. Describe a strong flip movie. You know the one where like the the guy's like, oh, you're not gonna get me, and he does like a cool flip and like, shoots a gun. Oh, a gun flip. And it goes like right into the other guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's I pretty think, cool. I think Regina hasn't seen Flip Is My Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the, we should the flipping anime. Yeah, the flipping anime. Maybe we should get her into that. Yeah. Maybe then we'll we'll get her to watch them with us. Because you think it's about flipping, but it's it's really about their growth as humans. But there is a lot of flipping. But there is also a lot of flipping. The flipping isn't what it's about, but yeah. the, the it's animated so well. And they all have special flipping abilities. Like one yeah. person just flips so high, another person does like really beautiful flips, another person does like really cool flips. Mm -hmm. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Wow. As yeah. cool as this is, um, I'm gonna cast a spell. Oh, um, you gonna use a sketchcraft? I'm gonna use sketchcraft. Which one are you gonna use? So Quain is, you know, shooting out this razor sharp paper all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's flying everywhere, and Regina's like trying to think fast, like what what could I possibly do to stop us from getting chopped in half by these papers? Mm -hmm. So she she reaches deep and she uses um, arcane archive Whoa. to revive an old drawing mine or someone else's. Which one are you gonna bring back? And you know, she runs through her mind and she's like, what's the one thing I can think of that's A, really big, oh, no. and B, <gasps> super good at getting killed? Holy shit. And she revives Argonius Lunch. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to pull up a reference of yeah. Argonius Lunch Please for you? Please do. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my point. god. <laughs> <laughs> So from the ether, uh -huh. um, alive once more for a second. <laughs> I was dead. I was murdered by a crossbow bolt. <laughs> hey, Argonius. Uh, hey, Argonius. Lexi. Missed you. Regina. Roxa. I saw the face of God himself. He looked like me, but bigger and moister. The god of half human, half something. Something, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we still don't. He did. Did he tell you what the other half is, or? <laughs> he was coming close to my face. I was about to whisper the secret for the other half. Uh huh. And his mouth opened, and I heard his lips go. <laughs> and he began to speak. But the moment he spoke the answer, I was pulled back here into this reality. I'm also half printer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess three quarters printer, maybe. A fellow hybrid. <laughs> I do not understand what you are. <laughs> it's just well, Argonius lunch. I used to be a questionly fellow. I was employed by this company, but then I was killed by a snake man named Al Piss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> Yes, it was a very strange day. I went to a party. I ate some cubes of cheese. I put my entire head in a chocolate fountain to moisten myself. I require <laughs> constant moistening. And then I was killed with a crossbow bolt. Wow. Uh, through my trachea. You are quite stunning. <laughs> <laughs> when I dream of having a fleshy body, it is something like this. Maybe well, not exactly. <laughs> Well, I could show you um, some of my uh, sloth routines. Uh, I would love to see. <laughs> I see a lot of potential in you to expand your, your, your mass. I, I have to ask, when you say a sloth routine, does that mean 
a dance routine done by a sloth? Because <laughs> <laughs> that sounds adorable. Yes, of course. What else would it mean? I do not know. <laughs> Please join me. <laughs> ah, yes, a very slow dance. Oh, he's doing the, the sprinkler. The water, yeah, the sprinkler. Just, I think that just the one arm of the <laughs> printer just. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it. It's much too fast. Oh. This conversation's happening while he's getting shredded by uh, <laughs> these sharp papers. <laughs> oh, Argonius. Oh. Wow. So Argonius, like... He, he lived again he lived so that he may to die. die. Well, he gets oh, to go no. back and meet his god again. That's true. He gets to meet the god of uh, half-human, half-something. <laughs> Really, just want to oh, make this no. as, as grisly as this possible. Is, this is fucked up. <laughs> Queen, how could you? I am sorry. <laughs> you were just hitting it off. I thought we would become friends, but I cannot control the other half of me. <laughs> I guess I'm half printer and also half uh, evil. Oh no, <laughs> Queen, you got to fight it. I'm trying. <laughs> All printers are half evil. To but be I fair, <laughs> that's very true. But to be honest, it feels slightly okay that I am killing you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I was dead already. I should not be. For some reason, it feels less bad. <laughs> I'm a perversion of the timeline. Ah. My death is just. <laughs> uh, thank you for making sure to get that nipple in there. That's yeah, I didn't want to miss perfect. out on that, yeah, on that good. good nip. Yeah. I do love that this is like, you are racking your brain so hard, and then this is the, the nerve that fired. This is the neuron that was presented to you. Well, it's like, you know, you're, you're in a panic state, mm -hmm. and all Gina could remember is a big, ugly, horrible fish man <laughs> um, just, just taking some crossbow bolts for the team. It's true. That is like, I think Argonius on uh, their questing party was definitely like the tank. So this yeah. is almost, this is the role they were made to play. Yeah. Um, you see like, basically almost all of the paper supply just gets absorbed into Argonius uh, before they fall. And then you see like, Quain's like, <laughs> They're like running out huh. of supplies somehow. I never thought I would know the feeling of running out of paper. <laughs> mm. oh, how That's does it, it feel? It feels uh, bad. Oh, <laughs> how do you feel about what you're doing now? I do not feel great. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I were able to control myself in some way. Um, as Quain is having these conflicting feelings, uh, Legsy, you have been lurking in the shadows yes. uh, and you prepared your move. What are you gonna do? Uh, I think I want to use my no backsies ability to trade items with someone. Ooh, Gina. Yeah, that's I'm, me. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I've got the the strong the potion of getting swole. Yeah. And I've got the uh, the friend switch bracelet. Would you be willing to trade me the potion of getting swole for the beacon of flavor? You know what? For you, I'll do it. Thank you. That. Because you asked nicely, yeah. and didn't just take. I'm learning. Like you did from rocks. <laughs> I'm learning. Rocks of all people. I know. I let my cool new ability get in the way of our friendship, and I'm still working to earn your forgiveness, rocks. But I appreciate everything you do. <gasps> a thumbs up. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Means I'm on my way back to speaking <laughs> terms. Yeah, I think seeing Argonius killed again mm -hmm. just fills Legsy with such a rage. <laughs> Argonius burned so fast and so bright. <laughs> he was very greasy, so yes, he did burn. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, you know, Legsy is usually one for stealth, but right now I think uh, her her party members have done a good job of distracting and disrupting uh, Quain. Mm -hmm and it's time for someone to be the muscle. <gasps> oh. What a change. Oh, wow. Limited Leg release. Legsy's gonna get jacked. So you just pop the cork? I pop the cork. Down this potion. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. It's spent. I can't wait to see strong Legsy. Yeah, me too. So, uh, Quain, I think you're like running low on supplies. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other uh, reserve attacks or auxiliary abilities? I think uh, the evil side of Quain is like uh, uh, trying to buy for control and uh, like sends a signal out and a, uh, a pea-soaked Roomba slides out <laughs> from under the, the printer. 
<laughs> ew, ew. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Oh, God. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, everyone make a cunning roll to see if you can avoid the pea soaked Roomba. Natural 20, baby. <laughs> that piss ain't touching me. Whoa. I got a 15 plus 7 is a 22. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I'm so cunning. Despite your newly jacked body, uh -huh. uh, you are still very cunning. Uh, Regina. I do a cool action movie flip. You do an action movie flip. You see Roxa, um, like, struggling to avoid the pee. She sees you flip and she thinks, just like in my anime. <laughs> <laughs> and then you both flip together. Regina, you land like a ballerina on the Roomba. Roxa, you land being caught by Regina, and you are both just like swan laking around riding on this room. <laughs> friendship is power! <laughs> friendship is power. Oh, friendship is power. <laughs> <laughs> you see your face just like twitching out, trying to overcome this programming, trying to believe what you know to be true. Oh, kicking my little legs. <laughs> <laughs> the legs are really cute. Mm. I'll give you that. So you deploy the piss Roomba, but it is instantly thwarted. Mm. And now you see just this massive hulking figure of this uh, normally small halfling, which do you like grow in size as uh, well? That's what I'm drawing, so yes. Okay. I'm gonna say I've already started the drawing, so mm -hmm. too late if that's not allowed. I'm going to roll a d6 and a d12 to see how tall you are. Okay, great. Again. <laughs> you are 5'2". <five> <laughs> wow. The towering figure of so, Lexi. I'm so tall. All right, let's, so Which let's, like... adjust, let's adjust this. Can't, out, can't overrule the dice. <laughs> I mean, for Lexi, that's pretty tall. Yeah, it's taller it than she was before, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you can go on roller coasters now. Yeah. Which like is not something we've really gotten into, but that is kind of the grand tragedy of halflings in a modern D and D setting. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't go on roller coasters. Wow, yeah. too dangerous. That's really messed up. <laughs> it's fucking weak, honestly. They don't make a smaller car. I guess maybe if you went to like a halfling specific amusement yeah. park, like if you went to like uh, you know, Three Flags, <laughs> <laughs> just half the flags. <laughs> half the flags, twice the fun. I do you think if, if it's a halfling-specific theme park, it would be like a lot of rides that halflings would enjoy, like yeah. getting put in a barrel and like floated down a river. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Eating a pie and then falling asleep in the pie. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, being taped to a wheel of cheese and rolled down a hill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting tossed into the air <laughs> and going, wee! <laughs> Big roller coaster that looks like a man. Just doing that. <laughs> a wizard laughing at your antics. Yeah. Sitting in, uh, sitting on Gandalf's lap. <laughs> uh, Regina, what's your favorite uh, amusement park in the world of Somewhereica? Um, have you guys ever been to Hell? <laughs> Just Hell? Just yeah. Hell. Um, they actually built an amusement park in Hell. Oh. And for like tieflings, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. There's like some torture. Mm -hmm. There's some flaying. Ooh. Um, you get to ride on a roller coaster that just like ends halfway through. <laughs> And it just launches you straight into the ground. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Gotta check it out. It sounds it's pretty good. Sick. It's pretty sick. <laughs> what kind of what kind of like uh, treats and confections do they have there? Oh, they've got it all, dude. Yeah. They got bones. <laughs> you want bones? They got bones. No the, meat on the bones. The bones from inside nuggets. Or they got <laughs> just the bones from inside the nuggets. They got boneless bones. They they don't have boneless bones. Mm, still working on it. Uh, Roxa, what about you? What's your favorite amusement park? You ever been to Muscle Boardwalk? Muscle Boardwalk? <laughs> yeah. I have not. It's just like a long boardwalk of stalls that have uh, like the test your strengths, like a big mallet and oh. one of those ones where you have to grip it really hard to see how strong you are. And so it's just like a like a town fair, but without any of the bullshit. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strength tests only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's none. There's mm -hmm. no like throwing games, mm -hmm. but there is like a punching game. Yeah. That's like a you know you have to punch the balloons, but you know <laughs> the balloons are are made yeah. out of some sorts of like metals and mm -hmm. materials and things. You have a baseball, but you have to like punch the baseball forward to try and yeah. Knock you're down not the allowed to too. have bats. Even that like mm -hmm. mallet swinging thing is actually just you doing a ground <laughs> punch. And there is a uh, there's a roller coaster, but it's just a log ride. But instead of sitting in the log, mm -hmm. you just hold on to a log and try not to drown as it goes down an actual waterfall? Yeah, well, they do have uh, another roller coaster that mm -hmm. just opened up recently, and it uh, you sit in, like, a, a weightlifting chair, mm -hmm. and you have to hold on to the bar 
on top of you. <laughs> and then it like, you know, brings you through all these loops and there's the, there's the corkscrew. And if you mm -hmm. lose your form. Yeah. Then you don't deserve to be at Muscle Boardwalk. <laughs> Rox, it sounds exactly. like you might just be going to a normal amusement park and doing it incredibly wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> these are all normal things that you're doing bad. Roxa goes to a, a normal roller coaster and the attendant's like, you gotta put down the bar. <laughs> Roxa's like, no. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Don't need it. <laughs> it's for cowards. Rox is the only person that does theme parks on a hard mode. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that the bar that you put down on your seat is a trap, and she's like, traps are for cowards. <laughs> Just bends the bar it. in half. Yeah. I've ridden a roller coaster once, but it was a screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that goes through the maze, and there's like the one rat in it. Right. <laughs> I thought it would be fun, but it's not really. <laughs> wow. Uh, I kind of lost track of the drawing for a second. Mm -hmm. Mercy me. Look at those legs. Fully realized Legsy legs. Here they are. Yeah. What is coming out of the printer? Legsy is, is trying to jam the printer. She's trying to stop Quain. She sees that there's still some good left in Quain, mm -hmm. but she needs to stop him from doing damage. And the, the best way to stop a printer, jam it. Hell yeah. Is that nuggets and gravy? It's nuggets and gravy, baby. <gasps> oh. The Queen. ultimate jamming solution. <laughs> For when jam just won't do. Yeah, that paper, that glossy paper is getting all soggy. It's not cutting anyone anymore. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. Wait. Yeah. Roxa would like to use an ability. <gasps> oh my goodness, what are you going to use? I'm going to use double doodle. What does that do? Which is, it allows me to aid another player's drawing. Roxa! Roxa! Oh. Are you going to help Legsy out? Is this forgiveness? So I'm going to... I'm gonna jump in mm -hmm. and and draw on this drawing, mm -hmm. I think, if that's allowed. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So you're gonna switch seats? Yeah. Oh, awesome, do it. All right. Switch All right, away. Get in there. Look at this. All right. Never before seen on Draga, oh. a seat switch. A seat swap. You're here for history, folks. <laughs> it, it can't be done! I like am totally on board with it and like know it's possible, but I still clench my fist and I go, impossible! <laughs> You clench your fist and go, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so excited to see how you assist. All right. So are you hopping off of the uh, the pose on top of Regina on the on the Roomba riding around? Yeah, it was fun being on the Roomba, mm -hmm. but I think we may have busted one of its wheels. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of just pop off and I, I take two more dollars out of my pocket and put it on the Roomba. <laughs> that Roomba was $13,000. It's an expensive Roomba. It's, it's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a dice to see how many flips you do. Cool. Oh yeah, Rox. If you want to fix any of the anatomy on <laughs> my body, feel free. Particularly the the hip and groin region. I think I missed some stuff. <laughs> uh, so I did roll a dice. Uh, you did five flips before landing into this scene. Nice. I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> you have been eating a lot of nuggets. Yeah. And normally your diet is mostly egg sandwiches. So nuggets, I feel like new terrain for you a little bit. Yeah, my stomach hasn't really adjusted yet. And as we clarify, these were nuggets made by uh, a demonic store. So like, it's not even clear if they're actually chicken or if they're just like the byproduct of this store that tries to trap people and swallow them. You can't say something's chicken if it's not chicken. <laughs> there Who are would rules. do that? Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, they're definitely nuggets. <laughs> You think back to the 99 cent chicken sign, uh -huh. and you see, and you remember below it, it said, 100% white. <laughs> <laughs> but not meat. Nope. <laughs> okay. I guess they never specified. No. Um, as this is happening, Legsy. Yes. What is your response? What are you, what are you feeling? I feel the presence of my good friend Roxa behind me, and I, you know, I'm still enraged because I had to watch my casual acquaintance, Argonius mm -hmm. Lunch, die a second time. <laughs> Sorry about that again. But, uh, but I'm, I'm feeling invigorated. I'm feeling the, the bonds of our friendship. You know, we talked about our anime nights that we had together, mm -hmm. and that, that got me real emotional, too. Yeah, it just, it feels, it feels good. It feels good, it feels you know? Good. I know that uh, I still violated Rox's trust, mm -hmm. and that I, I need to work to, to get things back to the way they were, but this is a very nice gesture on Rox's part. This is a very nice pose on Rox's part. Yeah, a nice very gesture nice. drawing. Yeah. Oh! There we go. Art terms. <laughs> uh, now, I'm going to ask the question that's on everyone's mind right now. 
What's movie mommy thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Is it whoever sits in this seat? <laughs> yeah, answers? why not? Okay. Oh, wow, this reminds me of the time in two Beverly Hills cops when <laughs> the, the two Beverly Hills cops did, they were, they were in a fight, but then they, then they made up <laughs> and they worked together. You're actually I'm, thinking of the movie Two Shreks? Oh, yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. that was a good movie, too. <laughs> They, they wanted everyone out of their swamps. <laughs> they share a lot of themes. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're neighboring swamps. Yeah, they're neighboring swamps. They had to work together. <laughs> but then they both fell in love with the two princesses. <laughs> you know, my favorite actor, Eddie's Murphy's, is in both of them. <laughs> yeah. Some people think exactly. they're just watching two, uh, the same movie on two TVs, but <laughs> mm -mm. no, no, no. No, no, no. That's the best way to watch it. You put it on two TVs and have them play simultaneously, and you can go back and forth. It's like you got four Beverly Hills tracks <laughs> going at once. I have a hard time keeping track of the different movies. I watch so many, they all bleed together. And they all seem to be multiples of each other, which yeah. is... It's an interesting, you know, thing about the movies. I'm in this the world. movie mummy. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I give those movies double thumbs up. <gasps> oh my! I think uh, Quain tries to do a thumbs up with with their toe. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So is Roxa like slam dunking more nuggets in there? Um, Roxa's actually taking them out. Because oh. <laughs> Roxa. Roxa leaps up and starts grabbing the nuggets before they can actually get jammed in there and says, we don't hurt our friends no matter how much they hurt us. Oh. Oh, oh. oh no, my heart. Oh my goodness. I think um, Quang <laughs> starts short circuiting. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks I, at Legsy uh, pointedly. Legsy stops with the nuggets and puts Quang down and just Still big, big muscly, just sort of curls up into a big muscle ball. Oh. And it's like, you're right, Roxa. You've always been right. Uh, Quain clearly doesn't know how to handle, like, <laughs> like lifts up big missiles that like are shaking, like, <laughs> ready to shoot at them. Uh, he had missiles this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, just like was fighting to not use them, and sees this, and it just like freaks out a little bit, and is like, I well searching, searching. Um, I think of you as my friends, <laughs> and, and puts down his missile. <gasps> Quain, buddy. Oh. And he uh, rocks it, takes one of the nuggets that was starting to get jammed and puts it on Quain's foot so that maybe he can like kick it into his mouth if Quain he wants. definitely tries to kick it into his mouth. <laughs> Misses, he rocks it, grabs it out of the air and tries yeah. again. Roll to see how... Yeah, please can roll. I just roll. I get found it. Oh, you got it, yeah. Uh, 11. <laughs> it takes you 11 tries. <laughs> <laughs> rocks it each time is like, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it eventually. On the 11th try, everyone erupts in applause. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I have one tear that grows down my face. Oh. You see, um, as this nugget enters your mouth uh, and everyone's cheering and applauding for you, and it's this moment of grand friendship, the printer begins to glow, uh, and you see yourself rising off of it, free from your mechanical constraints. <sighs> You're a real boy now. <laughs> I wish I had arms, but I, <laughs> I'm happy to be off the evil printer. I believe there's something inside the printer. Yeah, you see like this kind of like swirling, uh, glowing portal where uh, previously Quain's butt was. <laughs> Does it kind of Gross. smell like his butt? Um, yeah, but there's some Windex. Okay, we gotta wipe this thing down <laughs> sure. before I, we jump in. I grab the Windex, I say, let me, friends. Aww. I'll touch where the butt was. <laughs> Very noble. <laughs> I do a little, do a little wipe, and I do, I do a good dab this time with Aww. it, so it doesn't spread around too much. Because I've learned both about friendship and how to clean up messes. <laughs> that's character development right yeah, there. That's it, baby. Roxa hands Legsy one of the paper jam nuggets. Legsy looks at Roxa deeply in the eye, picks the nugget up, and says, "Thank you," <laughs> and eats it. Oh, this one had a bone in it. <laughs> mm. I love that nuggets have become like a token of friendship. Yeah. I mean, aren't they though? Yeah, we, a we don't bit. have any money, so no. Yeah, and like when you buy nuggets, you're never getting one nugget. Nuggets are made to be shared. Mm. Mm. 
So, uh, as you share friendship nuggets all around, uh, and you wipe down this printer, uh, you get a little ding on your, uh, your Hamel phones, uh, and it looks like somehow this was secretly a quest. Uh, a quest labeled Final Final Quest Verification pops up and says, Complete. Uh, and with that, you have earned yet another skill point. And that brings us to our judgment round. Um, Quain, if you wouldn't mind donning the, uh, the Cloak of Judgment uh, to award the yes. five-star blessing, your last act as a machine within the system. Thank you, thank you. Flown Should into I, you, you have a gavel I... here too. And while we begin our judgment round, uh, why don't we have you guys switch back to your original seats? Right. Yeah, let me see this drawing up close. Yeah, God, that's a, it's, it's oh, a great drawing, Elle. While uh, Legsy is still muscular, yeah. uh, before the muscles fade, Legsy does need to do the predator handshake with Roxa while she can. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. Feels it feels good. real good. Roxa, it, still, it still hurts. Okay. Roxa's still much stronger than even Swole Legsy. Roxa tries to play it cool, but she, like, you know, turns to walk away and she's just like, <laughs> yes. Your heart is doing flips. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Like an anime. So awesome. Uh, so this brings yes. us to the judgment portion of our show. Um, as I mentioned, everyone gets a skill point, but one special artist will be awarded the five-star blessing. Wow. Quain's final gift to them uh, before he becomes a real boy. Uh, so if we could get all three drawings up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of it. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not in the I'm, seat anymore. I'm still here. <laughs> wow. This is... Where do I go when this is dead? Do I just hang out? That's bad. I have a friend here. You. <laughs> you see these, um, Parker starts rubbing up against Movie Mummy. These are all incredible. I mean, Movie Mummy, that is some, <laughs> there's something really special about <laughs> just this truly alien figure <laughs> <laughs> ripped from another world into this one. You can see how much Quain loves it. Yeah. Finally having a friend. I, I think there's a real strong dynamic there. I would read a children's book of just these two. Uh, <laughs> I love the action of, of, what is his name? The, his name's Argonius Lunch. Oh, yes. Argonius Lunch being ripped apart by these pieces of paper. That it's, so it's very dynamic, and, and you can really get a sense that you're hiding behind it. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I mean... I just, I just feel like this, this picture of uh, the teamwork of putting the gravy and nuggets in and then pulling the nuggets out and then <laughs> <laughs> the worried look on Quain's face, I, I think there's just something very triumphant about this one mm -hmm. and the, the teamwork involved with it. So I think I gotta give it to, uh, to this last picture. This last one? Yes, um, to Legsy's and, wow. and I guess kind of to Rock. Who, who, I mean, I guess it's a teamwork. Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah it's yes. a teamwork drawing, so I think they both get an item. Yay! Yay. Yeah, they are. Oh, just I lose. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, oh, cool. idiot. And now nice. I smash the screen? Is yeah. that what I did? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so let me bring forth the sack of items. Uh -huh. um, and our two winners will get to choose an item. Uh, and our sole loser will get to choose whether they want their skill point or to trade it in for an item. I will pick this guy. Ooh, we discussed this one before. This is the Robo Remote. You and the other players each take turns adding to an exquisite corpse-style giant robot that you pilot in battle. Okay. <laughs> that's a gun. That's a gun. <laughs> that's a gun. This oh, is, well, that's a gun. This is a gun. <laughs> the description is, Oh shit, you have a gun now. <laughs> Let's put that there. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Whoops. Is that from Discord or? <laughs> That's no. Just, okay. It's nope. just a gun. It's just a gun. Uh, we have this, <laughs> this bottle of Splish Cola. Uh, oh, it's refreshing. Uh, oh, it combos with the can open or the bottle opener. Potentially. With Regina's bottle opener. Oh, you the do, combo potential is limitless. You do feel the siren call of this splish bottle. Oh, the bottle man. gal must rise. You know what they say when it's splish, it's delish. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally. Ooh, oh, this is a fun one. Um, this is the Scourge of the Hoarder. Uh, this flute, when played, steals an item from the target and transforms them into pure energy, causing the flute player to gain a skill point. And thanks to Reapacheep Chan on the Discord for suggesting that one. Uh, yeah, so those are our items. Uh, Roxa, Lexi, why don't you uh, select what you want? Roxa, please pick first. Aww. I'll take the splish. 
Take the splish. <laughs> <laughs> Pass on that splish. Pass that splish down. Mmm, what flavor is it? No one has ever tried. It's delicious splish. Mm. <laughs> Essentially a chemical cocktail. <laughs> now, Legsy, what would you like? <sighs> I feel like the old Legsy would have definitely chosen the item that lets you steal another item. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've experienced so much growth yeah. in this episode that I think I'm going to choose the one that allows us all to work together. Oh, the Robo Remote. Yeah. Oh, Nicely yes. done. Aww. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. Good work, good work. Um, that leaves us with Regina. Um, you have a skill point. Are you going to use that, or are you going to perhaps uh, pick up a new item? I'm going to take a skill point. Oh. Mm. <laughs> cool. Um, I will take these other two items and return them to the bag. And with that, our leveling up is complete, and so is the judgment. Uh, Zach, a.k.a. Quain, thank you so much for all you have done. Thank you for teaching me about friendship. Oh, yeah. thank you for teaching our players about friendship. Uh, do you have any parting wisdom for them? I just want to say, uh, always have each other's backs and jump into the hole that my butt was covering. <laughs> <laughs> Such wisdom. Should um, we leave Movie Mummy behind to keep Quain company? I'd, I'd like to have a friend. <laughs> Quain just starts bawling. <laughs> I don't want to overstay. Is that, am I overstaying my welcome? Is that what that Absolutely means? Absolutely not, Movie Mummy. <laughs> All right, I have several more movies in my popcorn. <laughs> We, uh, can want, we can have a whole movie night. Uh, I think uh, Quain presses a button on the Roomba and a little projector comes out. <laughs> All right. I love this. <laughs> so uh, as you descend into this portal, you see Quain and Movie Mummy settling in for a triple feature oh. of Triple Trouble, a movie starring uh, three Dwayne The Rock Johnsons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and with that, uh, Quain, your role is complete. Thank you so Thank much you for joining for us. Me. Everyone give Thank Zach you. a hand. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Bye, 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 Zach. Bye, Zach. Bye, Zach. Bye, Zach. Bye. All right. Goodbye. Oh. You guys really improved someone's life. Yeah. We did something good for once. Yeah. Well, we didn't improve Argonia's lunch's life, but well, <laughs> someone else. We didn't make it worse. Did we make it worse? Is it worse to die twice? Hmm, maybe got, we should bring him back and ask him. <laughs> it, seemed, it seemed painful both times. You can just keep using that ability, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it after a while. It's almost like he's here with us now. <laughs> I'm bleeding out, <laughs> but it's too late for me. You must go into the portal now. Yes, Argonius. I'll <laughs> we'll never forget you. <laughs> we'll do it for you. <laughs> do you want to enter this portal? Let's yeah, do let's it. do it. All right. Wait, before we go in, yes. I pull out my perfect car award. <laughs> and I give it uh, to Quain because it gives him 5% off an oil change, and I feel like he has so many little robots that need oil. Aww. I just, like, throw it because I don't feel like I'm ever going to get a car. Yeah. It's like a metal. It just, like, lands perfectly around his neck. Beautiful. It's, it's a good toss. Yeah, perfect toss. I'm going to jump in. Um, so you all jump into this uh, printer portal, uh, and it takes you to the boardroom. Oh. oh. So uh, you enter this posh corporate boardroom, uh, in the center, you see a long, ultra-shiny onyx table carved with ancient runes. Uh, you can almost see a reflection in it, it's so bright. Uh, on the back wall is a series of glowing monitors, and in the corner are three sets of armor that look surprisingly like those worn by the Movie Night Boys. Oh, man. Um, you um. also see two people having a conversation in the room. It is Ludwig waiting for you, but you also see Renald in the room, uh, and it seems like he's having a heated argument with Ludwig. Uh, you see Ludwig talking to Renald in like calm tones. He's like, well, unfortunately, these are just the rules. You uh, can't get verified because, well, you killed two people. You killed Jennifer Buttfish and Greta the Impossible in the forest. That is strictly against the rules for verification. It is all about choosing the best among us, the purest of hearts, the true heroes, and killing people. No, no, no. Especially people who are questly fellows like you. And you see Renal just like can't take it anymore. He's like, but, but I need this. Don't you understand? I, I have to have this. I can't let them have it. I need to be verified right now. You see Renal rips a gun off <laughs> of their keyboard, oh. points it at Ludwig. Oh no. And he's wow. just like, he looks at you. He pulls the other gun off of his keyboard and says, stay back. Stay back! And then he points the gun at Ludwig and says, Verify me, or I end you. 
and you see Ludwig goes, oh no. <laughs> and that's where we'll end our session. <laughs> oh no, oh, indeed. No. <laughs> Those new guys suck. <laughs> Don't worry, he can't hold two guns up for that long. That's true. His shoulders, shoulders are very weak. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see how long Rinald can keep those guns aloft, but not until our next episode. For now, we must say farewell. Uh, thank you to our wonderful players. Thank you to Zach Oyama, AKA Quain, for his excellent performance as a robot that learned to love. Uh, and of course, thank you to our audience for watching. We will catch y'all in the next episode, but until then, it's time to say farewell, and we are very sorry. We're sorry. 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 I think we gotta go. Uh, listen. This dude missed my spiel about friendship. So I want you each to draw a solution to saving Ludwig's life, but we gotta move. I'm going for the shoulders. I'm gonna go ahead and roll to see how many bones are broken. I'm business. here for the in, in, No, you don't, here no, for no, the no. Is I that, see I got, you've come wait. dressed for business. Uh, the new interview rocks is, we, we gotta beat some ass. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> if we're gonna be fighting these three super mm -hmm. armored friends, yep. we should get some super armor for ourselves. Hell yes. 